What's up everybody? Blood Dragon Rider here. How are you guys doing? Oh gosh. Oh man, I'm in a bit of pain. But I'll be alright. Ish. Anyway. I thought I would be doing a video. And why I don't like don't letting friends borrowing my tools, my games. Actually, it's just borrowing. I mean, letting your friends borrow stuff is all right. You know, it to to a certain extent. And what I mean by that is um, you let your friends borrow say a game you expect it to come back in the same condition how you left it you know the, instru the instruction box is, is in the case there's no scratches on the disc the case is in in good condition You know, just, just just the way that you left it, like like, like it's for some reason it's still brand new. It's got that, that brand new smell. But when it comes back, it's sort of like, what the hell happened to my game? There, there is scratch on the disc. There is ripped up uh, instruction book. The case is cracked, and you're just like, what the fuck have you done to my game? And the disc. Is not even reading. Sure, you can actually get the CD repaired to the pounds, but it's going to cost you money. But the question is, is your friend going to give you two pound to get the disc repaired? I can turn around and say this. If it's a true friend, they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, I should look after it better. Here's two pounds. Here is two pounds. There you go. Then, okay. That's cool. But if you've got a mate that who's going to damage your game or your music CD that you let him borrow, And he's not giving you money to get it repaired. It is like saying, right, the next time you ask me to, well, oh, can I borrow this? I can borrow that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get a borrow. But there are some friends. They do take the piss. There are some friends that actually does take the piss when it comes to. Uh, when you're borrowing stuff. <clears throat> well, there are some friends where they borrow stuff and there is something missing. And you're just like, okay, where's the instruction book? Where, where is the album cover? And it's like, oh, I don't know what it is. It's just like, I let you borrow something and I expect you to look at look after 
my CD. I expect you to look after my CD. If I just gonna keep on, if I'm just gonna keep on letting you borrow something, and you're not gonna look after it, it's just no point letting you borrow something if you're not gonna look after it. It just doesn't make sense. And that's what really annoys me. And that's when I kind of just stopped letting my friends borrow some of my stuff. It's like my soldering iron. I let my friends borrow my soldering iron and, you know, with the box, it has a box. And then all, all sudden, it came back without the box. So I'm just like, hmm. It's kind of like, hmm, okay, where's the box? I don't know where the box is. What do you mean you don't know where the box is? There was a box. There, there, there it had a box. It has a box. Where is it? I don't know. So and so used it before. So it's like I have to go back to that person and find out where it is. Also, not, not also that it had a box, it had a bag. For some reason, I still, I still don't have that bag because I had that bag since since teens when I was skateboarding. So I'm like, still sitting down, waiting for, waiting for my bag. I still don't have it. And I just get to that point now that I say to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna let anyone borrow my stuff. It doesn't matter how important it is. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I had enough. I had enough of people borrowing my stuff, they break it and they're not gonna give me money to to repair it. It really does pee me off. It really does pee me off. I mean I'll let when when my friends let me borrow their stuff I never treat it like shit. <laughs> you know, I never treat like like when when I borrow a game, I'll never let a game. You know, it it comes back how how they give it to me, not damaged, not scratched, or missing cover or. You know, it, it it came, it come. Well, you, you you know you know what I mean. I can turn around and say that I all got myself loads of food, loads of food, and um, since that I overed. Um, oh, I pay something, and I don't have a. Well, I do have a bigger bag. I do got a bigger bag, but I sh should have bought it. Now I've got my. Um, shopping bag, my actual shopping bag. Um, fastened on to, excuse me, for us into uh, to my bag. So, I have to be careful on the bumps. I wonder so I hope I don't get pulled over because these days you can get pulled over for something stupid. Yes, um, as I was saying, as I was saying that um, I'm not gonna let any friends borrow any of my equipment. If it doesn't matter if it's games, tools, it's just not gonna happen. Because I don't want to find out that something's gone missing or damaged because someone is not 
looking after it properly. Yeah, it's it's just it's just sad really when friends well not just friends, family don't take responsibility of your property. But if it's their property, they expect you to look after it. They expect everyone to look after it. But it does spoil for others that who wants to borrow a game or controller or something like that. And it's sad that there are friends out there that borrow some of your stuff but just don't just don't um thank you just don't um I can't remember what I'm gonna say now damn it I hate that one happens just don't look after it. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. I always end it around here. I don't know why I don't ever end it somewhere else. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to end it right here. And I'll speak to you guys in the next video. See you later.